Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. That was a tough round, that cheeky beak peek with those conditions. Now, it could very well get tougher at the Bermuda Isles because we now have the dangers of the sand surrounding green, so we shall see. I wonder if it'll even be possible to get, like, even on the green some holes. In, like if it's completely surrounded by water with the vintage clubs? It might be, I don't know. We're gonna find out, because I think I'm gonna stick to the vintage clubs for maximum difficulty when I actually get to the uh, harder portion of this. But anyway, let's just focus on the easier portion of it, re-getting used to the Bermuda Isles, I guess. And yeah, that, that's just so hard to stop it close to the hole, I just don't know. Like, if I landed it in the sand, it would just stick in the sand. If I landed it over, uh, like, into the hole, there's a good chance of me missing the hole on the slam dunk. It's just... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll just go for the chip-ins if need be. I won't be able to do that on the harder course. For now, I should focus... oh, wait a second. Can I actually make that? Yeah, like, where am I aiming on the... well, I guess there, but... Yeah, I don't think I can, make, I can make those islands even with the skimming woods. I think it'll just skip either short of them or over them, based. And I'm not, I, I don't really have a way to aim at those particular spots either, like, because I can't change the camera to where I would prefer to have the camera either, so. Yeah, I like that. I wish that there was a thing that you could just see the entire hole's overhead view or something like that. Besides just the flyover at the start of the hole. Because it's just kind of hard to visualize it in that very short amount of time. Oh, really? I missed? Dang it! <laughs> Alright, that was a decent angle to the green though, leaving it off to the left anyway. But a longer shot may technically be a bit harder. That's why I'm trying to get as close as I can on my approach shots as possible. Not that distance matters that much because you can still make the shots, but you know, you know, it's just we're playing we're playing with an unfamiliar character here, so <laughs> Oh wait, actually I should try uh, no, I wanna go Go back there and then bounce it across to the other side. How's that sound? So, I think it sounds good, so I'm going for it. Boink! Oh, it didn't make it. <laughs> I thought that would have made it just fine. Well, maybe it would have with the vintage clubs, but not those! I guess we're not making the green in two, then. It's a part five, though, but, you know, I'm, just, I'm always going for the lowest possible score that I can conjure up on a hole. <laughs> oh, really? Just ran all the way through it. Well, I could still probably make the green. Or not? 229. Where is the green? I, I'm all disoriented. <laughs> uh, maybe I can't even see it because I can't reach it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get much of a difference playing with the shoulder buttons. Hmm. Wait, what is that I'm doing at the bottom right corner of the screen there? Hmm, I'm hitting L and R. L? R. L? R. I don't know what that does. Oh wait, the, oh there it is! Well there's that at least, but... I'll try holding the R button while I swing. No, it just disappeared. No wait, that's still there! What does that mean, though, if I do that? Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have the uh, I wasn't using the skimming wood. I was using an iron. <laughs> My fault! <laughs> that would have been fine if I was using the skimming wood, but... Not, not, a, a, not a club that cannot skim. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna just putt that. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what the LNR thing did there. Uh, wait, hold on a sec. Let's maximize that. Yeah! That's a decent recovery based on my flub there. But yeah, I don't know what that holding LNR thing did other than change the shadow of the ball. Uh, they didn't never really specify the holding L or R, did they? They just went for, like, the impact zone and stuff like that, but... If I hold both of them, it just... It just, uh... Always defaults to the last one that I was holding. But yeah, I don't... I'm gonna try going like that again. And just see what the poop comes out of it. I don't know... I don't know if that'll make a difference. Maybe I discovered some secret cheats. 
I don't know, it doesn't look like it's, it's really doing anything. Unless it's something that you can use to change the... No, I was gonna say you could use to change the impact area? No. You can... No. I mean, I, yeah, you can look ahead a little bit using the other stick, but... It doesn't, doesn't do anything when you're holding anything. <laughs> when you're holding L or R. Hmm. Hmm. It's a mystery. <laughs> I'm gonna just try and barely land it on the green, and hope that it will stop. <laughs> <gasps> Even better go in! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I tried. Alright. That's a birdie. I'll take it. I'll take any birdie. <laughs> Especially when I don't use the red clubs to do skimming with. <laughs> uh, well, this one I could skim across, I think. Or maybe not. I'm 381. Whoops. Nope. That's, that ain't gonna happen. That's gonna have to be on my second shot. I was gonna say I could skim it all the way to the green, but no, that's much longer than my distance, even with the skims. So let's play it a fairway safely, and then. Um, okay, I'm gonna try holding L this time too, just for kicks. I don't know, it, it doesn't seem to do anything to the actual trajectory, but it just makes that shadow appear above the ball. Yeah, it's, that looked exactly how I envisioned it. <laughs> Didn't change the heights or anything. <laughs> just bounced right in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if LRR does anything other than just changes the shit. They probably do something, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> anyway, let's see here. Uh, no, this is. <laughs> if, I, if, this was, if this was Oak Manor's homemade course, I would be aiming to go in the hole on the fly, of course, but... I might just, I might just have to go in the bunker. <laughs> it's just, any side of the bunker will work. Because I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna stop on its own. Yeah, see? It's just, I don't know what to do on that hole, ever. Other than just chip it in for birdie after, after you miss the green, inevitably. Go. Uh, I might. I was gonna say I might be overhit, but maybe not because it's just gonna end up rolling. Oh no! <laughs> the ball is half in there. <laughs> ah, I just needed a blade of grass to give way for the ball to fall in, but that blade, it stood firm. <laughs> Alrighty, seventh. But oh, can you imagine me playing this? with the Vintage Clubs next. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty ugly. Oh no, no, don't, well, is that in there, or is it? I can't tell with the angle. No, it's not in there. See, the, the thing about it was, it, did it stay in that weed, or did it not? And that's hard to, it's hard to tell from the perspective of that, because it's overhead, and yeah. It's kind of hard to tell if you're actually in the weed, unless it actually shows you're in the weed. Oh, oh, funnel did not help me there. <laughs> well, I guess you gotta hit the funnel for it to make a difference, but still. Still, wait, wait, what? Oh, hmm. What did I... I was gonna say, why did I use a digging wedge there? Use the putter, man! <laughs> Just barely off the green. You can basically use the putter as a... a, a chipper. <laughs> hmm. Uh, well... This looks like I could use the skimming woods here. Yeah, I think the, the main reason why I haven't really been able to utilize them is I don't know the course all that well to, so that I can actually see where the poop is going to end up. Or no, I should say know where the poop is going to end up. And the other thing is I don't really have a choice as like a, a, that whole overhead thing that I can't actually look around with. So I'm, I'm not really utilizing the skimming woods as well as I probably could be. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> maybe after a couple hundred more rounds, which I probably will end up doing with this game, I'll have it all figured out. <laughs> An easy birdie. How can you miss a hole that you can fit your whole body in? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Next, we are in little island hopping territory. For the finale, and I don't—I really don't know if I want to do that. Uh, well, actually, I may want to do this. 
I could land it on that patch of fairway using the firewood by skimming it. Just going and uh oh, uh oh, okay, I was gonna say, is it gonna get wedged between the rock and the fairway like that other time? No, it will not. We're good. Uh, I'm still pretty far away, so I don't think I can skim my way there, even with... So I'm not gonna do any anything too risky here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go three wood and skim to that chunk of fairway. Yonk! Please make it! You made it! <laughs> See, I can use, I can utilize the skimming woods that I see where I'm aiming at, but not when I'm going blind, because I could, for, I could all be aiming for the Pacific Ocean as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Just like miles and miles of ocean, because they won't let me change the camera. <laughs> mm, oh, I had the right angle, but too much power. And that was all my fault. Look at the gauge. <laughs> Well, I'll just make this. <laughs> Woo! I'll take it. Eight under par. All right, now for now for the death round. <laughs> this is gonna be ugly. <laughs> Quick play. Oh boy. Vintage. Strong. Strong. I overhit. Regular. Begin. <laughs> Goodbye. Good score. Goodbye. <laughs> We'll never see you for the duration of this entire round. Can I even... Okay, I was gonna say, can I even make the screen with the vintage? I sort of can, but I think it's just gonna fly over into the, uh... The deep, deep ocean over there. I think I might have to end up playing for the sand, just so it sticks. And that's a pretty precise landing area there. <laughs> oh! 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 Mm -mm. Okay, well... I didn't land it in the sand, but it didn't go in the water either, so <laughs> I will take it. I will take any small victory I can get when I'm playing under the hardest conditions known to man. Holy poop! <laughs> That's how birdies can happen, I guess. It's probably the only way birdies are going to happen. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Um, well, the wind actually. I might actually be able to utilize that. But yeah, I was I was afraid of this that I might not be able to make the fairway on some holes, and I might have to play for like tea boxes or little tiny island bunkers or something. That might be uh, the case somewhere along these lines here. Cause yeah, I don't really know if this is the ideal setup for the Bermuda Isles. <laughs> okay, I know it's not the most ideal setup for the Bermuda Isles, but that's the point. Just to kind of have fun trying to beat the odds. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna anticipate a ton of rollout and mill tank ourselves to victory. Oh, 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 you're kidding me, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not kidding me. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's probably gonna be the only way I'm gonna see birdies in this. Is if I chip it in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, why couldn't I do that with the, the giant holes? <laughs> with something's going on with those. It's like the moles. They're doing something to those holes. Maybe they're like building a mound around the hole so that the ball bounces away from it no matter what angle you hit towards it except directly at it. Who knows? <laughs> uh, actually, probably not. The moles, they wouldn't be able to tunnel their way from island to island. There's a little, little bit of a thing called water. <laughs> Although, maybe if they go deep enough, they can go under the water. <laughs> Okay, probably not, because there's water under the ground, too. I have to go to basically this place that's so watertight, and they got to dig in such a way that the water doesn't follow them as they're digging into it and somehow come to the other side. Maybe. Maybe. Am I going insane? I just might be. <laughs> well, almost got another chip in there. Alright. Mm, I'll take that par. It, it might be more disappointing than a birdie, but still. 
<laughs> I will take it. Mm, oh, jeez, that's a lot of blue. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna stop my ball over there. I might just end up having to utilize the sand and hope for the best. Oh, well, mm, the bunker sort of saved me there. I don't think I was gonna make it in two anyway because of that. Because of the whole island hopping shenanigans going on. So, I'll just advance it a little bit and miss hit. And, uh, okay, it's still fine. And then hopefully I'll be able to stop it on the next shot. I, I don't think I will be, though. Oh, jeez. Well, the wind is with me, but... Oh, this green slope? <laughs> Remember what happened, that cheeky beak seventh. I think it was a seventh hole. Uh, um... Uh, I'm, I'm mainly aiming for the little patch of patch of bunker in front of the green, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work, though! <laughs> oh, the wind did not take it back nearly as far as I thought, but hey, we're, we're in the bunker, so we're safe-ish. Uh, actually, I probably should go with the... Wait, no, no, no. i go with the, the rudder, I guess. No, we don't know. No, no, I probably should go with the putter, because there isn't that much, and I, if I put it off the green, the sand is just going to slow it up anyway. But here we go, maximum. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I might still be able to do it, though. Uh, just a little bit off to the side, because there's less sand between me and the hole now. Oh! Again, I tried. <laughs> Trying to make the best of the situation that I have here. I just wanted to get so I can actually see where I'm aiming. This is gonna go off the green, I just know it. <laughs> That's why I said, don't be above the hole if you can help it. Yeah, I don't. It, and just think, this the slope is pushing you in that direction. So, and since the. I guess you could say larger portion of the green at that angle is towards the right, it would just end up. <laughs> yeah, you just. You screw it either way, you do it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't think I did. I mean, yes, I got a triple bogey, but that's not really bad considering the difficulty of that. <laughs> Just imagine if everyone else was playing under the same conditions. That could very well be a, uh, a winning hole there. <laughs> It's quite possible people will sextuple bogey. Oh man, how did that not miss the bunk? I mean, uh, how did that not miss the rock with that wind direction? I don't know. All I know is I gotta play back again. Not that I wasn't expecting that I'd have to do that anyway, but but yeah, just imagine if this was match play and yeah, having to do such a shot like that is just ridiculous. So, so a sextuple bogey could be in the equation. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I'm, I'll play it there. Because the wind just doesn't seem to be affecting me that much this hole for some reason. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> why is it Why is it that the high, high level of wind sometimes affects you a lot and other times it doesn't? Is that another potential bug? Because if so, I don't know how you, you could possibly predict what is going to come out of it then to actually be able to make shots. Anyway, I, I was going to say I cannot make the green, but yes I can. I just have trees blocking my shot angle. Wait, 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 okay. Uh, this is not, this is not going to turn out well, will it? Because I think I'm going to end up nicking the tree no matter what. Cause I'm, 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 I must be going like really precisely between trees. Uh, yeah, cause I'm just barely getting over it when I'm over there and... Uh, is this gonna be like a part three I'm gonna have to play back towards another patch of fairway? Just to be quote unquote safe? It sure feels like it. <laughs> and even that, I couldn't stay on it. <laughs> Yeah, as I said, the uh, playing the courses under the hardest conditions probably will decimate your score. So I'm not really expecting to shoot under par all the time like I was before. Oh, come on! Let's I do that. Okay, we're back under par, I guess. 
<laughs> I guess if I keep doing that the whole way through, we'll be okay. I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so now, now we're in another one of these sorts of scenarios. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a short hole, so I guess I could safely play it back here and still make the green. So I, that is what I shall do, and I also plop backspin on that. Okay, now I can't make the green in two. <laughs> Fantastic! Uh, yeah. I, I'm surprised, like, the, the other hole, the wind did not affect it nearly that much! This one, though? Oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna knock you back pretty dang far with that wind! It's like a wind randomizer on top of just the wind being random at the, at the start of the hole. So yeah, I don't. If that's if that's a thing, I probably uh, cannot predict it enough to shoot under par consistently. I'm sure it is possible to shoot under par, but <laughs> you'd have to kind of have a little bit of luck on your side, I think. Unless there's, unless there's more to it, and I'm just not reading the wind properly? I don't know. <laughs> I know it was a seven yard range, but still. And... Okay, here we go, we're gonna put off the green. <laughs> like, tell me if there's anything I could have done there, other than hit over the hole to begin with. Dunk! Oh. But the thing was, I was going for the chip-in, so... And it just ended up relatively short of the hole. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> oh, slow plus sand is not your friend. I didn't even make the putt back from off the green. Alas. Alas. Can't even recover. <laughs> this is pretty interesting though, just to see how low I can go under this, these conditions though. So, still definitely worth giving a shot. Just don't, don't, uh, put your expectations too high, let's put it that way. <laughs> if you don't have your expectations too high, you should have a lot of fun with this. Ah, oh, I was gonna make it to the rough and then bounce on the green. Not this time, though. I still have a shot at potentially getting it in, as long as I play for that side slope. And... let her fly. Boink, 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 mm, close. I'm not gonna move it, the cursor. I'm just gonna overhit it. Yeah. All right. One more hole, and I, well, I may have a chance at getting under par if I can albatross it. But most likely, it's gonna be birdie or eagle, <laughs> if that even happens with the green slope and all like that. But this this hole has a nice chunky green, so that shouldn't be too much of a factor. And. Thus, we are going to fly that ball from island to island as far as we can and hope for the lowest score we possibly can. Uh, uh, <laughs> neither of these are very appealing, but this looks like the better of the two, because this is thinner. But this one, yeah. Mm. They're, but they're, the thing about that is that they're both crossover landings, you know, that you're, you're hitting across them rather than with them. So, let's we'll see what, how this turns out. Oh! Mm, that's not looking good for an eagle! <laughs> or an albatross, for that matter. Uh, well, I can still go for the birdie. Wait, hold on a sec. I have a better shot with my mashy, yeah. Because the powers of the mashy have less of a yardage variance. Ooh, <laughs> and I end up right behind the tree, of course. Of course. Um, Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> mm, I might have to hit over to this little patch of fairway to give myself the best shot. I'm not even, not even sure I can stop it on that little patch of fairway. Let's find out. <laughs> Maybe I'm better off just hitting a little gentle shot. I could not stop it! <laughs> Fantastic! Uh, yeah, I was just going for the best angle to the green. I guess it doesn't much matter then, because it still get, gets me a little bit closer. A little easier shot. And maybe a chip-in! Who knows? Probably not. That did, that 10 yard range really got me there, but the, the pin really saved me there. <laughs> Alright, play a little bit of the slope, overhit. 
and call it a round. Two over par. Eh, not bad. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when I've got this camera all charged up because I see it's low on battery.